Kazuya is actually now in Smash Brothers. So we actually live in a universe where uh, people are drawing uh, real life in-game possibilities of uh, Kazuya cupping Kirby's head like he a basketball or something. So, you know, that actually exists now. Uh, Kazuya throwing Min Min off into a volcano is actually kind of canon now. So, you know, how do you guys feel about <laughs> Kazuya uh, joining Smash Brothers? Was it a surprise for you? Is it for you just like, uh, well, you know, another character? Um, but it's a fighting game character, so that's dope. But start with you, Mr. Gamer. I actually saw this coming a while back. I'm like, I know they're going, it's got to happen. I thought it was going to be Heihachi, but um, Kazuya makes sense. He's like the poster boy, I think, overall for Tekken. Uh, some people are like, why is not Jin? But, you know, I think a lot of people that were asking that were probably like, didn't know that like Jin is Kazuya's son and Kazuya's been around longer than Jin, even though Jin was kind of being moved as the poster board, especially around like Tekken 4 or Tekken 3 actually, Tekken 3 up to like Tekken 6 maybe I guess you could say, he kind of started becoming like the main character uh, role, but uh, yeah, it's, it's dope, Um, he looks, he looks great, he looks like he works pretty good in the game. I'm curious to see how they're gonna do all his his moves though, like, cause I know like with Ryu, I think tilts and stuff were like his different jabs and stuff, but like, how are they gonna? I'm I'm really curious to see how they're gonna do it. Um, like the 10-8 combos and he had like a long list of moves they showed at the uh, showcase with Nintendo, so that'll be kind of cool to see how they uh, pull this off and stuff. Are they gonna actually make you do a real electric wind guy fist? Is a question though. Like, are you gonna actually have to? you know, be frame perfect, which I don't think would be too much of an issue, but are they going to keep the same input or is it just going to be like Ford and B or something like that? Uh, that'll be cool to see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you get, get a Smash Bros. And they, you know, this would be crazy if Kazi is a character that forces people to get a Smash Bros. Like, ah, I can't, I ain't got enough fingers for this. I, I gotta, I gotta get a Smash Bros. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it's cool. You know, we got, uh, what, three fighting game characters now so it's uh ryu uh terry and kazuya you got ken um, too oh yeah ken i forgot about ken got the two shuttles so that's four characters four fighting game characters um i really was thinking and hoping they were going to do echo characters i was like i, I just want to see y'all bust out at the end of the trailer like show jen that would have been really cool just to show him and his son um, thought it was Heiachi because they showed Heiachi, but he's just like in the he's either a trophy character or in, just in the stage. Um, Heiachi looking like, hey, well, I was here before you, they put you in the game, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, it was cool. I, w I will say hats off to Nintendo for doing that, for uh, giving us, you know, a uh, fighting game character in there. Um, bringing Kazi, maybe I mean, at this point, I think Kazi makes like 81 characters in Smash, which is just insane. Wow. And again, it's you know actual officially licensed Mugen like this. They might as well change the name to Smash to Mugen, Smash Mugen. Like, um, I'm actually curious to see what they're gonna put in the game next. Um, you know, everybody's still looking for Goku. Uh, I, I actually would Sora. be down for Goku. Yeah, Sora. I don't think that's gonna happen because I, I saw something where Disney was like, <laughs> "You talk." Uh, so. <laughs> It's just like if, if we if we do see sword like that's gonna break the internet that would be crazy, but I just I just don't think that the the way Disney rocks man they don't they don't they nah they almost have Nintendo when it comes to like their property sometimes it's like no you're not getting we're gonna give you Dora you ain't get you won't get sword you gonna get Dora the Explorer that's who we're gonna get I would I would guarantee money we'll see her before we see Sora in Smash Bros. The next trailer she's like. Uh, what, what's the little saying? She's like, "Did you see it? Did you find it?" That's all you gonna hear in the background. Then you gonna see boots come out of nowhere. She's gonna be kind of like a Pokemon trainer, throwing boots and um, the map and the. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna did, did, have don't. <laughs> she's gonna have a slide come out of nowhere. Swipe. Um, yeah, Kasi was dope, man. I the the what they did with that trailer was that cinematic was dope. That was hilarious. Him just throwing people off in the in the. In the volcano, and the fact that he started with Ganondorf was so disrespectful. <laughs> Ganondorf, like, I'm twice your size, dude. He just sweet. <laughs> just too long. 
that's all Link had to do. Just sleep good and throw him off into the volcano. You mean tell me Link went through all this trouble, all these timelines and universes, and all he had to do was just sleep him real quick and throw him in the volcano. That's that's crazy, hey, man. man. When you come into the game, you knock the biggest dude out first. Well, wouldn't that be Donkey Kong? He was on vacation. It's funny because, um, you know, people make a means like Banjo Kazuya, which was kind of kind of hilarious. And also, somebody also made a means with Kirby threw Kazi off the uh, the volcano because you know at the end he, he's still he's gonna try to drop Kirby and feel like dude he can float and he's indestructible. Like Kirby's like one of the strongest characters in history. And it's like they somebody did a, a drawing where you know. I, I'm wondering what his his move is going to be when Kirby absorbs him. Probably, oh, probably the electric wing guy face. I'm assuming, um, but they had it where he absorbs Kazuya. He was holding Kazuya off with the, <laughs> over the legs. He said he's like, oh, you like, it. um. So yeah, I, I think it's cool. Hopefully, they give him some dope costumes. He got the devil mode, uh, the the ultra devil mode is his uh, smash attack. It's funny um, somebody online that didn't know about Tekken was just like. Oh man, they gave him a Ridley form. Huh. You know that that is funny because you know it's, it's been a lot of talk about people say, "Oh, who's a, who got another Shoto?" It's like Kasi is not a Shoto, but he's not a Shoto. It's I, I see you what you're getting. At. He's close enough. He got a Tatsu like move. He has a DP. Uh, doesn't work quite the same as a DP in, in Street Fighter, but he's he's not a Shoto because Shoto means Shotokan. He doesn't really do. Shotokan karate, but you know, and then people were just mm. like, you know, people were just like, hey, but I don't know. Uh, they, they started a whole big thing on Twitter. Oh, he's a Shoto. No, he's not a Shoto. I'm like, okay, just... Bro, he even got a fireball, do he? He's an eye beam laser. That's what they say his that fireball is. Okay. <laughs> that don't count. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, people are, uh, they, they got some interesting takes on that. But yeah, it's cool to see Kazi in the game. Uh, hopefully, we get some more of, uh, characters that are uh, maybe something that'll blow my mind. Maybe something that'll make me buy a Switch and be like, I gotta play Smash now. Uh, I don't really know what that. Could, well, Jack would definitely be that. Uh, but you know, or Ratchet. I thought Ratchet would be a nice guest character, but you know, uh, that's Sony putting something on Nintendo's console. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But yeah, Kazi is cool. Smash Brothers for life, I guess. I heard about the announcement later on, and I was just like, oh, okay, cool. They put Kazi in um, Smash Brothers. That's going to be awesome. And then <laughs> I was I, all right, first off, I want to start this off with, I think it's a cool, cool idea that they put Kazuya in Smash Brothers. I think it's great. I think he's going to bring a lot to the game. I think, like, definitely, I mean, if people are going to get Smash Boxes now, I think now would be a good time because I think, technically speaking, uh, last like six months ago would have been a good time, like when they were releasing like uh, Terry Bogard on um, on Smash and everything like that. I think Terry Bogard, a lot of pe some people were just kind of like, I don't get like having to do the inputs with Terry Bogard, you know, getting, because basically in order to get the most out of playing Terry Bogard or even to get the most out of playing, uh, playing Ken and Ryu, you have to, you, you got to do the inputs, man. You got to actually do the inputs. Other, otherwise, like you're not getting everything you can out of out of the moves that they're doing so it's like not if you're going to get a smash box now would be a good time because now you have like a few care some characters that are basically from basically like very input very input heavy characters like they're like um you got to practice those inputs man to get the best to get the most you can out of them i think um yeah uh Kazi is really good i think uh seeing Kazi on there is like a really really cool idea i'm glad that they decided to do Kazia. I think um, I think you couldn't have gone wrong with doing anybody else, like any like a Heihachi or a Jin. Like you couldn't have gone wrong with any of that stuff. But I think uh, yeah, uh, Kazi is um, uh, Kazi is um, um was a really good choice. So uh, that being said, I know uh, some people like some people were saying that Kazia was a wasted slot because like they never heard of the character before and I was just like Yeah we have to remember a lot of these what? Smash uh players are 
people are young nowadays, like in the yeah. scenes that we're in. So you know, they're they're really young. I understand, you know, being young, but are you are you are you just like completely like your head is like completely in the sand at the same time? Like, are you just like <laughs> complete? You're just completely ignorant to like every. You know what I mean? It's like you know, like I feel like at this point, if you're going to be out there playing video games and stuff like that, and this is kind of an this is kind of a side note. If you're going to be out there playing fighting games and stuff like that, because Smash is a fighting game, there are fighting. It is a fighting game, regardless of what people, I don't know what other people say. A lot of people say that it's not a fighting game. I disagree. So I think we yeah, have Smash is a fighting game. I think fight, Smash has been around long enough to have a status as being a fighting game. There's enough in it, you know, uh, people put a lot, a lot of work into learning the mechanics behind that game. So I think it's a little, it would be a mess. It would, we would be remiss in uh, like saying that it's not. But anyway, <clears throat> it is a fighting game. So being that it is a game that pulls uh, characters in from other games and it has pulled in characters from other fighting games, I think uh, at this point, being young is not a good excuse for being ignorant. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like you're you technically you're in the scene. You know, I mean, I don't play Smash like that, but I know I, but I know what goes on in Smash. You know, I play like um, there are games like uh, like I don't play Skullgirls like that, but I still know about Skullgirls. I, like if I see a Skullgirls character, I'm like, I know, I'm like, oh, okay. I know that character, you know? I mean, there are some, it's to me at this point, it's just like, man, like, can we really, can we really keep like excusing people not knowing things, especially in the information era where the information is like right there available for you? Like back in the day when you had to go to the library to go use a computer, it's like, oh, well, you, I can understand. You know, you know, you might not have enough time to go to a library every once in a while, like after school, you might have to go to, football or track or something like that or you might have to go home because your parents don't watch you out at night but like but now when you have the internet on your phone come on man you don't know who Kazuya Kazuya Mishima is I mean you don't know the relevance of Kazuya Mishima just by like you know Tekken 7 is like one of the biggest fighting games like out right now and you don't know who Kazuya Mishima is it's like oh it's a wasted slot it a, there's technically speaking like I, I'm gonna be 100%. I don't know. Understand how anybody could say that Kazi is a, 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 a wasted slot, and everybody everybody would have been okay when like Minecraft Steve came out. I was just kind of like, what Minecraft Steve? That's but a good point. It's like well, Ka so Kazi is a wasted slot, but you're okay with Minecraft Steve? Like what? All right, but anyway, uh, back to my back to the original point. Kazuya is the cool character. Uh, like he's definitely he was basically the first Tekken main protagonist, if you can call him that. I mean, he was basically the main protagonist until the end of the first game when you realize, well, basically the end of the first game slash the beginning of the second game when you realize, oh wait, Kazuya's evil too. Oh, uh, uh, which was actually a really, which was actually a really cool way to go with having your main character be evil, just like your, just like the main bad guy. So that was kind of nice, but. Yeah, I think it's great to have Kazuya in the game. I look forward to seeing him throw a bunch of people off cliffs.